Well, Warren Buffett just destroyed the banks, claiming that Berkshire Hathaway sold their banking stocks simply because, according to him, the banks engaged in misleading accounting following up some of the earnings reports. Buffett said that we saw a lot of red flags, banking sector is not doing well. And the slimmest part over here on the investment side of the banks, Buffett is even harder. Warren Buffett slams banks for hiding their losses. And reviews he sold some bank stocks after spotting red flags. And guys, at the end of the day, on the stock market, there is no friend or, or, or partners or someone who can actually trust with 100%. This is what I believe usually. But I believe Warren Buffett is its honest guy. What he, what he says is what he thinks. Warren Buffett slammed banks for engaging in misleading accounting to inflate their profits. The Berkshire Hathaway said that they saw their stakes in some of the biggest banks. I listened part of the interview and he said that the only bank who he still believes at some point in some certain variation is still Bank of America. I don't know why or how probably they helped him fund Berkshire Hathaway back in time or they have some special relationship or communication, but this is what he actually said. Buffett underscored the importance of public faith in the banking system which is on the verge of collapse, as we all agree, I assume. And you know what's the, the, the funniest part? Usually Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, you, during the usual shareholder meeting, they're slamming retail investors and meme stock investors by taking risks that, according to them, are not necessary. Now he's hitting the bank with this. Warren Buffett has finally waited on the banking fiasco. He slammed lenders for taking unnecessary risks. And according to Buffett, no matter what kind of information they provide during the earnings call, Warren Buffett sees everything. He said that several banks engaged in misleading accounting to artificially inflate their profits. He gave an example of banks valuing their long debt bonds at the par value instead of their market value, which we all know it's something that the Fed accepts if you want to use this particular discounted uh, borrowing time frame so you can actually get uh, the value of your assets per their face value the original value when you actually acquire not the already lost unrealized uh, positions on the market so this is what Warren Buffett is seeing and uh, he said that you know in fact the value of, of these uh, equities has fallen big time and these people are not you know willing to place the real actual value because the losses could be huge could scare a lot of investors it's like tomorrow you go to the bank and you want to put as a collateral your amc shares and instead of putting the current prices of around five dollars plus or minus you're showing that you know your stock worth 70 dollars a share which was the price back in in 2021 this is how ridiculous sounds and it actually worked right nobody else point that this is not correct only Warren Buffett did that. And I guess this is the quote of the day. I don't like it when people get too focused on their earnings number and forget banking principles. Some of the dumb things that banks do periodically become uncovered during this period. This means that they have been doing so many nonsense things on the investment side, probably on the banking side, on the management side. And at some point, everything mount too high. And the catalyst that we saw with SVB trigger everything to be actually flawed on the surface and i think the message over here is very clear and sure it's not related 100 percent to the u.s markets but what buffett did increasing their stakeholder position in five of the biggest uh, exchanges in, in japan probably meant something about the u.s markets remember how many people actually moved their money out of the banks the as a deposit towards money markets funds or some of the broker accounts just getting a better return on investment the passive income on this uh, receiving uh, three four some of them offer even greater than four percent interest on just keeping the unused cash within your broker sure some of the brokers or all of them are not insured the way as the banks but seeing buffett moving money from the actual banking investments towards trading firms right this is very very interesting and probably i'm expecting to see sooner or later for him seeing taking certain positions in some of the exchanges or brokers or trading houses over here uh, because this will make so much more sense considering that 
I'm seeing more and more articles talking about the incoming recession. Things are not cooling off, no matter what the price action on the market looks like. 